Welcome to our pharmacology class with Mr. Seth and Mrs. Sue. Let's first have a quick reminder that drugs may be cholinergic agonists, cholinergic antagonists, adrenergic agonists, or adrenergic antagonists. Cholinergic agonists are direct or indirect acting. Anticholine esterases are indirect acting cholinergic agonists divided into reversible and irreversible. Reversible indirect acting cholinergic agonists or reversible anticholinesterase agents. So what are these and how do they work? Simply they are drugs that act indirectly by inhibiting choline esterase enzyme causing accumulation of acetylcholine within the synapse. Someone who doesn't know the function of acetylcholine strays will wonder why does its inhibition cause accumulation of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine strays is an enzyme that especially cleaves acetylcholine to acetate and choline, thus terminating its action. Where do these drugs evolve their action? These drugs can provoke a response at all choline receptors in the body, including both muscarinic and lipotonic receptors in the autonomic nervous system, as well as the neuromuscular junction in the brain. Drugs of this class are classified as short-acting or intermediate-acting. General pharmacological actions include decreased heart rate, bronchodilation, increased motility, mediated, therefore treatment of glaucoma, increased acetylcholine pressure, therefore it will be helpful in treatment of Ilzheimer's disease and myasthenia gravis. So here is Mr. Seth as usual. Let's have a brief knowledge about drug physostigmine. It stimulates muscarinic and nicotinic sites of the autonomic nervous system and the nicotinic receptors of the neuromuscular junction, duration is up to 2 hours, increases intestinal and blood motility. So many drugs, Mrs. Sue is meditating before we move to another. The astigmine drug is better tolerated than azurin and it acts less on eye. It's more active on the digestive tract and bladder, used in treatment of the post-operative autonicity, intestine and bladder. Here is a summary of various reversible acetylcholine strays inhibitor drugs used for treatment and diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, such as neostigmine and udrifonium respectively, used for treatment of atonicity and used as antidotes. Created using Powtoon.